Hello and welcome to Latex Workshops. We're going to make a seam by adding A onto B. We're going to clean and glue this side and we're going to clean and glue this side. The easiest way of doing so is simply by turning A over. I've also drawn a couple of arrows to make life easier. The first thing we need to do is to clean off the talcum powder. We need one and a half centimeters The latex may curl up a little bit. If it does, you just have to wait until it uncurls, about 30 seconds. The next step is to apply the glue. It's our Bostic 3A51. We want to give a little hem peck. Not so good doing it left-handed. When we apply it, we want to really press quite hard, about 80 degrees. So I'm just going to start off and then just go for it. Not bad, that's a good one centimeter seam line. I'm just going to move it out of the way because I went all of the way to the edge, which is necessary. And so naturally that means it'll stick to the table unless I move it. That's all right. So I'm just bringing this in. Right, I'm turning over my spatula to get a fresh, fresh bit of glue. Um, off I go again. Oh, a bit wiggly, but I get my one centimeter seam line, which was my goal. Again, pull it away. And now all I have to do is I have to wait for those seam lines to dry. And the test is simply, you gently tap them. If you stick to your finger, it's not ready. We're not trying to take fingerprints. We just give a, gen a gentle tap. Normally a cup, couple of minutes should be fine. So I'm actually going to move these out of the way. Oops. And I'm going to clean the table. Here are some I made a little earlier. So these are nice and dry, ready to be stuck. Compared to Oh, these dried very quickly actually. However, we're going to use the ones I prepared earlier. You never just lay the latex onto the latex. Mm. It's a bit hard to say it's unprofessional, but certainly it's very bad working practice because you don't have any control. You always want to have as much control as possible. So we're going to have a good starting point by creating an anchor. We want to get it as best as possible, so if it's a skew, we're just going to make a little bit of trouble later on. So, making sure that it's aligned, I'm going to tap it in the right place, secure it with my thumb, and with my right hand, secure the underneath bit of latex, and with my forefinger, all I'm going to do is gently stroke the upper bit of latex onto the lower bit of latex to create to create that seam line. The top bit of latex is purely to guide it. It's not to stretch or to do anything else. So off we go. So I'm just gently joining them together. Can't reach any more with my forefinger. So I'm going to move my thumb, my anchor point up and off I go again with my forefinger. My left hand is guiding the upper bit of latex to make sure that I get that good one centimeter seam line. So that is a good one centimeter seam line. Now that I've got that, I need to make sure it's properly secure. I'm gonna do that by giving it a good roll ring on both sides. That good roll ring has squashed out the glue from the side seam. So I'm just going to apply a bit of talcum powder to stick to the glue so we can wipe that excess glue off. Otherwise it'll look as though a snail has crawled up 
your seam line when it comes to polishing. To get rid of the talcum powder, we of course just use our thinner four again. So giving one good wipe. Again, don't go over it many times, otherwise you'll scratch the surface and you don't want any thinner to go into there. You should have a hairline of talcum powder next to the seam line. That'll go away when you use your polish and it'll look lovely. This has been stuck for a matter of seconds and yet you'll be able to absolutely pull it as hard as you like, it'll never come undone. Because you've waited the right amount of time for the glue to dry, you are able to unpeel it and you will be able to rectify anything, add anything, change anything and seal it again. Roll it down and it'll be perfect. If you didn't wait the right amount of time, when you unpeeled it, it'll just be like spaghetti. Because we have the, the ability to unpeel it, it means that at the end of every seam line is a stress point. So what we want to do is actually put a stress point guard, just a little bit of scrap over the end of the seam line. I've used a different color just to show it. I also prefer to go a little bit further than the end of the outfit. So then you can just chop it off and it'll be a perfect seam line. This is because the guiding bit of latex has been stretched a little bit. So as it's been joined, the, the top bit of latex hasn't been guided, it's been stretched and put into place. Hence, it'll look wrinkly and terrible. Another little problem is, hopefully you can see it, there's loads of little lumps of glue on here and when you apply your other bit of latex on, if there's any little bubbles, then it'll look shocking. It'll really look as though it's a mountain under your seam line. That can come if you're joining two bits of latex together for the seam and you haven't allowed the glue to dry properly, then you'll squash it together and then you peel it back, that's it. It'll become lumpy like this and it'll look terrible. So you've got to wait till your seam line glue dries properly. If you do ever find any foreign body on your seam line, then you just got to pick it off with your pair of tweezers. And lastly, I don't think you'll be able to see this, but I really tried to get some air bubbles in here. Sometimes, very strangely, normally actually for appliques, you will find the odd air bubble. If you get an air bubble or notice one afterwards and you really don't want to unpeel the whole seam line for it, just of course try and gently roll it out towards the seam. If it doesn't come out, you can gently stab it with a safety pin and that should not have any effect on the seam line and get rid of that nasty bulge.